I'm Harry Miller, and this is Technical Communication in the Fourth Dimension. When you plan a video, it's a good idea to make a storyboard for the whole thing. A storyboard is where you draw a picture of every shot that's going to be in the video, and you put the text underneath it. So why do you want to show a picture of every shot in your video? Well, it's mostly just for good planning. If you've got every shot planned out, you'll know that you didn't forget to take a shot of the back of the computer because you wanted to show the USB ports. It's right there on your storyboard, and you know you have to get that. And the other reason is so you can match up the text in the shots. If you have two or three paragraphs under here with just one shot, then that tends to lead to pretty boring videos. I use Visio to create my storyboards. It comes with a bunch of pre-made shapes that I can just drag onto the page. Here, here, let me show you how that works. In Visio, I just made up this little template where I can put on series title, episode title, and then have page tabs down here. So I go to page one, and I say, well, I'm going to start this off with just uh, me saying, Hi, I'm Harry. This is technical communication in the fourth dimension. All right, and then the next one, we're gonna use a title graphic at that point. So just to represent that, we'll just drop on some mail and say, just like this, title graphic, hit escape. Next panel, now this um, works for screencasts also. I find. So if I want to insert a picture, what I'll do is take a capture of the screen that I'm going to want to put here. And why would you do it for screencast, you say, when, it, when it's possibly just mostly the same sort of thing over and over again? That would be because you really don't want to be showing nothing happening while you're talking for a long time. It just makes people lose interest. So we so show this and we say, this is my Visio template, and then I want to go to the next one, and we'll insert another screenshot. And we'll say, just drag on the objects that represent your visuals that you want to get. Then we're all out of room for this one, but you can see it's very easy to make sure that you get the shots you want. It's very clear to follow. And there's not too much text with each shot, so your visuals aren't getting boring while th there's this conversation going on. And make sure that uh, we get everything covered. So we say, drop on title graphic this point. All right, and then after you have that, you might say, well, we need to go back to live shot here because we want to show how th the storyboard is going to help out with planning. So we might go to uh, workflow steps, get a shot of a meeting, and then we say, by planning carefully with all stakeholders, you maximize the result of your effort and minimize risk of having to redo your work. So the storyboard is a great place to start, but uh, of course if you're shooting live footage, don't stop at the storyboard. Always get plenty of extra shots of things around that you might want to cut in later, either for atmosphere or to help make a point or whatever. So have fun, and we'll see you in the fourth dimension. Mm -hmm.